What's up everyone, if you're like me and you bought a Pokemon game off eBay and you have a save data issue, mine says time not set and when I continue the game it says the save file is corrupted. Well then, you need a battery and this is the battery that you need along with the little tool. So today we're going to go ahead and replace the battery. You're going to need a, well you don't need the multimeter but I'm going to show you all how to check the battery using the multimeter. You're going to need some solder and then of course you're going to need a soldering iron. So let's go ahead and open up the game, shall we? All right, so the first thing you can do is get the tool, and we're gonna stick this in here and just unscrew this screw right here. All right, so the screw is removed. So now we just slide down and we should remove this. Now what's interesting is, I'm not sure if this is the original battery. It might've been replaced before, but we're gonna grab the multimeter and test it out. All right, so when we test the original battery right here, as you can see, we're at about 1.5 volts and it's actually dropping still. And if we touch the new battery here, we're constantly at 3.3 .3 volts. So we need to replace the battery. So let's get out the soldering iron. All right, so what we're gonna do is grab the soldering iron tip and we're just gonna heat this up right here. And while you heat it up, you can try lifting the tab here. So while this heats up, it should basically allow you to pull it out. Melt this, and as you can see, it popped right off. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. So new battery is gonna go the exact same way. We're just gonna stick it like this. And all we need to do is heat up the original solder. All right. So we heated up the original solder and as you can see, it's stuck there now. But we're gonna add more because it's a little low. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Just gonna hold it down like this, heat it up from the top. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty much soldered in, but I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more on top, just so that we have enough. All right, so there we have it. We have both solder points. So let's measure them to make sure that it's making proper contact with the multimeter. And as you can see, 3.3 3 volts. So that means it's working. So we're just going to assemble this back together now. So to assemble it, just make sure this is in, stick it in, slide it up, and then we're just going to tighten this screw. All right, let's, let's try it out. All right, so it says new game because we lost our save data during this. And I'm just going to set this up real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And then once it saves, we're going to restart. And just to make sure, I'm going to take it out of here, just in case there's power. Okay. And there we go. The time is here in the day, and I can click continue now, and it doesn't say anything. We're good. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, and hopefully you can get your Pokemon game up and running. Now, as you saw, I'm running a Game Boy Color here. I got an analog pocket sliding soon, so be sure to subscribe because we'll be comparing these and see how the analog pocket is later. 